Today in Access 2007, we're going to learn how to use the group by, sum, count, average, maximum, and minimum for numbers in a query, and this is a totals query. So this is the query, this is the query data sheet view, and as we can see, it's for Tuesday, May 31st, we'll look at, and these were the miles done. There was 10 done altogether. The count went out twice to do those 10 miles. The average number was five, the maximum was six, the minimum was four. Let's look at the design of that query to see how this came about. We are into the query design and it is a totals query. There were three fields chosen for the query itself. The first one was called date, no time. Here it is here and this is a group by function. The criterion was May 1st, 2011 to May 31st, 2011. The second field chosen was this called lower exercises, which was this one here, and it was miles. This was also a group by. Then we chose the third field, which was number F, right there. And that's a numerical field, and all you do is you add this one, two, three, four, five times, but each time the total is changed so it's not a group by like these first two, it's a sum, it's a count, you can see these various choices here, an average, a maximum, and a minimum. And we'll go into the format of that number just in a moment, but that's basically it. So let's look at the query itself. Here we are back at the query itself in the data sheet view. Just want to show you one little trick on the group by function. Do not put in your unique identifying number. Let's go ID like this. Watch what happens. This is a primary number, as it so happens. Watch what happens if you try to you put this in and try to do the group by. The group by breaks down because the unique number, well, it's a unique number. So instead of grouping Tuesday into one, it breaks it down into, instead of the 10, it's now a six and a four. So let's take out that ID. So just remember, when you're grouping by a day, a date, don't have an ID number in there. So let's take that out. Take a look at it again. All right, so you can see how now, again, Tuesday is grouped. It's now totaling 10. That's exactly what you want. So that's one little tip. And now let's look at the format of this number F. Very important. Next step. Now for the field name, number F, the data type is a number. And here, under the field size here, you see where it says single? That's what you want it to be, single. Here, similarly, for the format, set that to standard. There are the choices, there is standard. That's how the number F was formatted in the underlying table, which of course, backbone the queries. Now just to go over again why this was successful, for the field name date no time, the data type is a date time, and for the format you want long date, here are the choices. Don't use general date, don't use medium, well you can use medium, but use long date, that's what I used, and then you'll get a successful group by the day for May 31st for the miles, and the number as we know, we looked at that formatting, so best of luck with this totals query, average sum, maximum, minimum, and count.